Hey guys and welcome back and in this particular video I am going to show you how our final capstone project will look like. And here we have our early stage heart attack risk predictor app where I have used some images, a video and some text and as this is a multi-page web app we have more three more pages to go so here we have a data analysis section where we have the data over here and some beta expanders and inside our particular page exploratory data analysis we have two more pages and right now we are at our descriptive page and we are moving on to our plots page over here and here I have added the image and some text and here we have our plots and we can change around it too and see here we have another plot and finally we move on to our prediction section where we have some text and we will get some input from the user and finally we will show them their selected options and also the results so here it says positive risk be careful and lastly we are at our about section and this is about me so here i have written some uh, 10 to 15 lines about me and here are some social links of and this is how, how our final web app will look like and hope this is interesting for you and let's meet in the next video. Hey guys and welcome back to another lecture and now we are going to look at how to structure our streamlit web application. So in order to create a multi-page web application we would write a long and more than literally 150 lines of code. But having all of them inside a single python file might be really very very confusing for us and in order to avoid that we will have three different python files and in which we will create two of them as the eda.py and it is a python file and the other one as ml.py as a python file so yeah eda.py is our resembles our exploratory data analysis part and the ml.py represents our prediction part and these both will be shared inside our streamlet of the main app that is named as the app.py and now this might look very confusing but later while watching the other videos it will be really interesting for you and so happy learning and now we also know how to structure our app and in order to do that firstly we will create three new files and i will go to heart app and here i have the data and here is our jupyter notebook and here i will create a uh, the main app Let's name it app.py and again I will create an another file um, which would be for my exploratory data analysis .py and finally I will create a third file and which is for the machine learning so ml.py and now we will start developing our web app so firstly let's import the packages and the first package we obviously need is import streamlit as st and now we are good to go and we can frame our app so let's write a function so def main and here we will call our function so firstly let's give in the title so st dot title and in which this is the our app now let's create our menu the choices for our menu and the first one would be obviously the home and the second one would be the exploratory data analysis analysis section and the third one would be the prediction section and at the last I will have an another section for about section so 
and now we will create a select box in the sidebar so st dot sidebar and in which i will use my select box where i will name it as the menu and i will pass in all the options i have in my list menu so let's make it caps data analysis section and finally we will write the if statements so if the choice is home and then i will type in st dot text oops let's use the subheader header and i will tell them that this is our home page and lf suppose the choice of the user was the exploratory data analysis section let's say let's copy this and inside which and if the user chooses this uh, for now i will pass this section and if the user selects his choice as the prediction section and i will also pass this for now and finally else i will tell them that st dot header and this is about me now let's save this and open our command prompt and in which we will shoot our terminal so firstly we will pass in the file path where it is in my desktop oops desktop and then inside my desktop i will go to the heart app and inside my heart app i will run the streamlet so streamlet run i will use app.py and it's taking a while and now we got it here it is it's loading and bingo we got our heart tap and it shows an error that we have made a mistake in line 22 oops line 9 so let's go to line 9 and it is side bar and now let's save this and click on always rerun and we got this and here is our sidebar where we have four sections they are the exploratory data analysis section the prediction section and finally the about page and now let's work on our exploratory data analysis section for now and so i'm opening the eda.py python file and here let's import the packages so importing packages and the first package we need is import streamlit as st and i will import the pandas as pd Oops, PD. and now i will create a new function that is mm, def of let's say eda and in which i will import the data frame so let's say df equals pd dot read csv and inside which i will pass my data frame named the heart dot csv and now i will go and showcase this particular data frame inside my web app so st dot um, let's say subheader subheader and uh, in which i will say this is our data where i will display this data using the streamlit data frame function and i will pass in df over here and now let's save this and we have to import this particular file into our app.py so um let's comment this out importing the packages and now i will import the file so importing the files and from eta 
I will import the function EDA. So let's save this and let's click on cancel and check for our data frame. And now let's go to the exploratory data analysis section. And still we cannot see anything. This is because we did not use this EDA function in the area of our exploratory data analysis. So let's call the EDA function over here. And now let's save this. And here we can see that our data has been displayed inside this particular page of exploratory data analysis section. And we can play around with this too. And now let's move on to our YAML section. So where we will again import the packages. So import our packages. So for now, let's just import streamlet as st and let's create a particular function for our yaml section so def yaml there is nothing much to do right now so let's just try to um, pass something cool so st dot write this is a very very great tutorial and let's save this for now and now we will also import the yaml file so from yaml i will import the function yaml and instead of pass here i will call the yaml function and now let's save this and now let's go to our prediction section and here we got this is a very great tutorial and now let's format our about page and I'm also going to use my image so let's import the image module from pillow so from PIL I will import the image so right now let's use the following code so this is a pre-written code for me and I'm using this so here firstly I will write the particular name Adit Shrigam the data guy and I'm importing my image and I'm particularly displaying the image in the streamlit web app and here is the bit of text about me so here I have my particular socials and here are the links for each and every one of them and I'm gonna use the beta expander and where I will showcase all the particular links and now right now let's save this and let's move on to our web app and check for the about section right now and here we got it and here's my picture and here is the brief info about me and here i have a beta expander where i have all my socials and here are their links now let's start structuring our home page so now our home page is like this and now let's add some images and some text so let's go to our editor and here I'm going to add a new image too. So let's take a variable named the image here too and in which I will call my module image and use the open function and the file name is heart.jpeg and now let's save this and now let's use our streamlet to make this particular image appear on our web application so st dot image and in which i will pass the following variable image and here we got our particular image here and we can also add some text so here in my notepad i have this particular piece of text about the data frame and the app we are working on so let's add this so let's use our write function st.write and in which I will pass this whole bunch of text. Let's copy this out and paste it over here. And now let's save this and let's open our web app. And now here we got the textual message for our app too. And now I don't think this particular title is required here so let's remove this and let's make this as the title so let's say this and now it's pretty much cool 